Praise God. I want to try to explain to you why all this evil is upon us now. In 2016, we're winding up. Jeremiah prophesied about his generation going into captivity and prophesied about us. What he said for them goes for us too. God wants you to know why all this evil is upon us, why he allowed Satan to get the reins that he have now. This was a judgment. God has all power. Satan has no power but what God allows him to do. And God is allowing this to bring the world to an end. In 2016, just look around you. Open your eyes. Even if God won, won on the way, wasn't getting ready to end the world, the world would end because man has destroyed the oceans, the waters, the land, he has defiled the food. Nothing is right. Nobody would be able to survive if God didn't come. But see, God gave man 120 years, which I have explained before. If you believe in God, then you have to know his will and why. You should know why he's doing all this or allowing all this to happen. So you can understand a portion, some. We can't understand all of God because God is wiser than man. But he give us a portion to understand. To how you are living your life. Are you trying to live for God or are you living with Satan and just doing every ungodly thing? possible so everybody ain't gonna understand what I'm trying to say not even gonna want to listen to it probably couldn't me off right now which is fine with me this is for the people that want to know God has all this evil upon us because of our sins the world is coming to an end because of our sin. God created Adam to live forever and didn't give him but one thing not to do. But the nature of man draws him to do what he shouldn't do. That's just the nature of man with that evil heart that we have in us. The Bible say that when we are born, we go astray time we are born. So that's the nature of men's hearts. God give us free will to choose to do good or to choose to do evil. We have ministering spirits guiding us. Angels or demons. Whichever we choose to allow to guide us. Adam's sin, which God made him to live forever, which sin brings about death. He didn't have but that one thing not to do, and he did it, so that brought death on us. So, Adam had to die, which all made all mankind have to go through death. God gave mankind 120 years to live. Not mankind, gave man 120 years to live. 
God gave mankind 120 jubilees, which is 6,000 years, and then the end, and then the end of the earth, and then we are reborn after that, if God will, if we hadn't committed the unforgivable sin. Calling good bad and bad good. So. God. Is a loving God. And loves mercy. His mercy endures forever. The understanding of this is because the Bible tells you that the world is is going to be destroyed. And then the Bible tells you that I create a new earth and a new heaven. And a former won't be remembered. So the Bible is telling you secrets that if you don't study, if you don't give yourself to God to understand, you won't understand. And you'll be forever living on a lie. And you might miss that life. You can't do right. You can't live right unless you understand if you live for God, you'll live again. And if you put your heart to living right, you have an eternal life. So, the earth has an end. Mankind will go on forever. If you read Ecclesiastes, it, it tells you things move in a circle. God shows his amazing works to all people, all mankind, all that are looking for it. We are in this evil because of our sins, because of Adam's sin, because we are sinning now even after that. God's word told us not to do birthdays, not to do holidays, because they are sacrificing to devils. You are sacrificing to bloodshed that happened beforehand. That's what you're sacrificing to. You're sacrificing to demons not knowing it. But see, just like a child, when he's too young to understand, all you tell him is don't do this. And explaining the reason, he's not going to understand. So you don't want to explain the reason. You just tell a child, don't do this. And that child is to be obedient and not do it because his father said, don't do it. And as that child grows, then he can get the understanding of why not to do it. But you're going to be obedient just because your father told you not to do it in the beginning. And that's good enough. So, we're in this evil, this a, a lot of evil we're in that God is bringing up on us. Satan has no power but what God allows him to do. But God is allowing all this evil to come up on us to bring the end to the world. It is a perpetual end. Some of you have understanding of of that and some don't. We are in the end now. 
I'm going to play this and Jeremiah is talking about the Jews going into captivity. God told them to go with the king of Babylon. And he would look after them. And if they did they didn't go willingly, then punishment came. So he's talking to the Jews first, but this translate to God's people in America. Why this evil is upon us in America? Because we became God's people. Well, God's people are here, but the Gentiles was included because Christianity came in. Christianity created their own Son of God. The Gentiles are doing worse than the Jews did. And the punishment was double on the Jews coming to America. They went into captivity 210 years when they first went into Egypt. But this captivity has been 400 years. Because the Jews came over here in 1618, I believe, or around in that period. And 2018, 2019 is when that captivity is over with. Christ and that captivity will not end until Christ come back. This is what the Bible say. The Jews came over here in, in ships. This is in Deuteronomy. It tell you how they got here. It is how the God's people came over here as slaves which I won't get into that's not what this is about but you know that's a little background on that but you need to know the truth and not be living in lies we're living in so so much so many lies now that if you don't have the spirit of God in you to guide you to the truth you won't find it you'll be fighting for a lie all your life. But I'm getting ready to play this. Jeremiah is talking to the Jews and, and, and the sins that they did. But the same thing, him talking to them is just like him talking to us now since Christianity came in and the Gentiles are included. These are your sins. And what you have done and what your ancestors have done. Think of him talking to you. When he say even until this day. He's talking about 2016. We are still doing that sin even until this day. When he talks about worshiping to the queen of heaven. He's talking about birthdays, witchcraft. Worshipping to demons, lighting candles by fire. When he says Egypt, it translates into America 2016 to him that have the ear. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel. Ye have seen all the evil that I have brought upon Jerusalem and upon all the cities of Judah. And behold, this day they are a desolation, and no man dwelleth therein, because of their wickedness, which they have committed to provoke me to anger. In that they went to burn incense and to serve other gods, whom they knew not, neither they, ye, nor your fathers. Howbeit, I sent unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them, saying, O oh, do not this abominable thing that I hate. But they hearkened not, nor inclined their ear to turn from their wickedness, to burn no incense unto other gods. Wherefore my fury and mine anger was poured forth and was kindled in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, and they are wasted and desolate as at this day. 
Therefore now, thus saith the Lord, the God of hosts, the God of Israel, Wherefore commit ye this great evil against your souls, to cut off from you man and woman, child and suckling out of Judah, to leave you none to remain, in that ye provoke me unto wrath with the works of your hands, burning incense unto other gods in the land of Egypt, whither ye be gone to dwell, that ye might cut yourselves off, and that ye might be a curse and a reproach among all the nations of the earth. Have ye forgotten the wickedness of your fathers, and the wickedness of the kings of Judah, and the wickedness of their wives, and your own wickedness, and the wickedness of your wives, which they have committed in the land of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem? They are not humbled even unto this day, neither have they feared, nor walked in my law, nor in my statutes that I set before you and before your fathers. Therefore thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will set my face against you for evil, and to cut off all Judah. And I will take the remnant of Judah that have set their faces to go into the land of Egypt to sojourn there, and they shall all be consumed and fall in the land of Egypt. They shall even be consumed by the sword and by the famine. They shall die from the least even unto the greatest by the sword and by the famine. And they shall be an execration and an astonishment and a curse and a reproach. For I will punish them that dwell in the land of Egypt as I have punished Jerusalem by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence so that none of the remnant of Judah which are gone into the land of Egypt to sojourn there shall escape or remain, that they should return into the land of Judah, to the which they have a desire to return to dwell there. For none shall return, but such as shall escape. Then all the men which knew that their wives had burned incense unto other gods, and all the women that stood by, a great multitude, even all the people that dwelt in the land of Egypt in Papros, answered Jeremiah, saying, as for the word that thou hast spoken unto us in the name of the Lord, we will not hearken unto thee. But we will certainly do whatsoever thing goeth forth out of our own mouth, to burn incense unto the Queen of Heaven, and to pour out drink offerings unto her, as we have done, we and our fathers, our kings and our princes, in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem. For then had we plenty of victuals, and were well, and saw no evil. But since we left off to burn incense to the Queen of Heaven, and to pour out drink offerings unto her, we have wanted all things, and have been consumed by the sword and by the famine. And when we burned incense to the Queen of Heaven, and poured out drink offerings unto her, did we make her cakes to worship her, and pour out drink offerings unto her, without our men? Then Jeremiah said unto all the people, to the men and to the women, and to all the people which had given him that answer, saying, The incense that ye burned in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, ye and your fathers, your kings and your princes, and the people of the land, did not the Lord remember them? And came it not into his mind? so that the Lord could no longer bear because of the evil of your doings and because of the abominations which ye have committed. Therefore is your land a desolation and an astonishment and a curse without an inhabitant as at this day. Because ye have burned incense and because ye have sinned against the Lord and have not obeyed the voice of the Lord nor walked in his law nor in his statutes nor in his testimonies, therefore this evil has happened unto you as at this day. Moreover, Jeremiah said unto all the people and to all the women, Hear the word of the Lord, all Judah, that are in the land of Egypt. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, saying, Ye and your wives have both spoken with your mouths and fulfilled with your hand, saying, We will surely perform our vows that we have vowed to burn incense to the Queen of Heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her. Ye will surely accomplish your vows and surely perform your vows. Therefore hear ye the word of the Lord, all Judah that dwell in the land of Egypt. Behold, I have sworn by my great name, saith the Lord, that my name shall no more be named in the mouth of any man of Judah in all the land of Egypt, saying, The Lord God liveth. Behold, I will watch over them for evil and not for good. And all the men of Judah that are in the land of Egypt shall be consumed by the sword and by the famine until there be an end of them. Yet a small number that escape the sword shall return out of the land of Egypt into the land of Judah. And all the remnant of Judah that are gone into the land of Egypt to sojourn there shall know whose words shall stand, mine or theirs.